president's new overtime rule guarantees if you work extra, you get paid extra. Yeah, this new reform raises what's known as the overtime salary threshold. And as Channel 2's Keith Garvin shows us here, there are some stipulations here. Good news today for a lot of workers who've been working overtime without overtime pay. The Labor Department is doubling the salary threshold, guaranteeing a bigger paycheck for millions of employees who've been working far more than 40 hours a week. Business owners, though, say the rule will be bad news for their bottom line. More than 4 million workers are expected to reap the benefits now that the U.S. Labor Department is rewriting the rules on how much salaried employees can earn before they're no longer eligible for overtime pay. We have a situation where you can work 70 hours a week and literally make the poverty wage of $24,000, which is the current threshold. That isn't right. Vice President Biden touted the new rule and the economy at the headquarters of an ice cream chain in Ohio. That this is not only the right thing to do, it's good business. The Obama administration estimates raising the overtime threshold from $23,000 to $47,500 a year will put $12 billion in the pockets of American workers over the next decade. But the National Retail Federation predicts many employers will simply cut their employees off at 40 hours. These employees are going to have to clock in and clock out. Uh, they're going to lose a lot of flexibility. A lot of middle management jobs are going to be eliminated at companies across the economy. A new national standard for overtime that's no small change. The new rule takes effect December 1st. Keith Garvin, KPRC Channel 2 News. We wanted to know if you agree or disagree with the president's overtime pay plan. Yeah, it looks like majority of you, 60%, say yes. Production at the Toyota